Hello and welcome. Uh, this is a tutorial based research channel and uh, basically um, the channel's here to show you how to teach you how to do this research for yourself. That, that, that's the basics of it. Um, also show you uh, the research results and the research in action. So if you do have difficulties um, viewing some of this stuff, not so much with this one today, um, I do suggest going to have a look at the other videos because um, it just uh, gives you time to understand uh, what's going on. Now, what we've been doing is um, looking at these images, trying to break them down, trying to understand um, how they put together, um, things to look for, um, um, which do not ring true. Um, they just do not look right and um, you can guarantee that there's something going on in that image so okay this is the second time I've done this video as well because I mucked it up uh, this is the image we're going to be looking at um, very cool looking image um, and here now there's an issue with um, scaling so um, we're just going to have a quick look at that. Um, I do suggest uh, pausing, reading or just observing the other images um, just to try and get your head around them because it's not that easy when you, especially if you're new to this sort of thing. So if you click on here, um, you get this image. Okay. I was quite happy with the other one that I did, um, but I m managed to press uh, pause and um, didn't unpause it. So this is apparently 50 meters away and this is 5 meters away. Now, it's more than likely due to the the fish eyeing of the, the lens. Um, and which you can see gives the bend here. It's very, uh, it's quite, apparently it goes 6.5 to 100 mil. And then they talk talk about 34 mil and stuff. So for those of you who know about um, lenses and a bit of photography, um, you have to sort of imagine this image um, flattened out really. Okay, let's just have a look at a few bits first. Um, now, I could be right, I could be wrong. Um, but if you take a look at the shadow here, imagine this flat and that shadow would be where that shadow is. Okay. Right, so if we move through the image, I'll just show you, here's the rover. There's the shadow. Okay, this software I'm using, GIMP software, is not very fluid when it comes to zooming in and out and panning around. It's a bit unfortunate, but uh, it works. And it's free, it's license free, so you can download this image um, for free and uh, if you follow my tutorials and stuff, um, you can get on researching this stuff yourself. I'll answer all questions, um, no secrets about the uh, the technique or the, the, the methods that I use. Um, so yeah, it's very interesting, very addictive and uh, it will help you understand this, this phenomenon much better so we were looking at the shadows and this rock face here which looks a lot larger than they're saying five meters away what five eight ten and so on and so forth um, the shadows look like they're in a different direction and here as well you see where it's dragging off and here so that's one thing, <clears throat> excuse me, 
another thing that we've um, we've looked at are the the uh, the ridge lines um, where background meets foreground and stuff. So are we having a closer look at that? Okay, if you want more information, it's always good to know a bit about the images you're you're looking at. And I, I was just looking at this um, in relation to the cameras they were using and stuff. So I just wanted to find out the focal length um, and stuff like that. So there's tons of information to be had regarding that. Um, I do know like a like a decent fisheye lens is like 10 millimeters and uh, that is quite severe but apparently this goes 6.5 or something like that so if we go up here and click on that then it gives you much 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 you can see here much much more information in regards to what the cameras can do uh, this can focus up to 0 0.15 millimeters away of something um, pretty interesting and we were talking about um, morphology as well um, which is the study of you know the ideology the ego look if you read that bit there So they're getting very up close and personal, etc. Okay. So let's have a look. So this is the image. Remember the shadows. It, do, it doesn't seem to be ringing true to me. So that's one point. So <clears throat> this is a part one. Um, and basically, I'm going to be showing you a crop from a small area of this image uh, where the um, title anomalies are situated. And um, then I'll be enhancing that whole um, crop. So uh, it may be in three parts. It's just there's so much to get through. Um, after the enhancement just having a look what's uh, what's going on i think i mentioned in another video as well that this uh the, the some of these uh some of the buttes uh definitely they they said it was a hematite of sorts and it is a really weird looking fractured structured looking um rock which, which is weird you can see these areas here and it looks like, um, you know, like a, a lava flow or, it, you know, something's melted of sorts. It has a direction to it and things, but I don't know. I don't, I don't know enough about it. Okay, let's, so let's have a look at the first. And remember the, the scaling as well. So we were, this area here is, um, was five meters away. So this, I remember this was, uh, I don't know, three, three or four years ago. And it was featured by, I think, a, a channel called Street, Street Cat One. Um, he does anomaly hunting and stuff like that. And it was described as a man walking, walking away. Okay. So the one I felt this was also described as a as a spacecraft. Now, if you're new to this channel, um, you'll know I'm a little refrain from titling, giving things titles and stuff. Um, Purely because um, 
if you're new to view it, it's got to start from somewhere and I don't want to put ideas into your head before you've, you know, studied the images. Um, and that's what it's all about. It's, it's, it's understanding yourself from the, from the, from a basic point of view, the most basic point of view, without having all sorts of ideas and stuff running around your head. But for this one, yes, we are, because they've been spoken about before. Apart from this, this was uh, the Egyptian or Sumerian bust. You can see his ear, it's sort of like a side profile. I say Sumerian as well, because, you know, they had like a beards on their sculptures. Um, and this, and this was featured... Um, on Scott C. Waring, uh, UFO Sightings Daily. He's got tons of stuff. The guy's been going for years. Um, but to me, yeah, this was described as a, a crashed UFO. I understand. I can see the shape. Um, but if you've seen the other videos and stuff where we talk about ridge lines and where foreground hits background, uh, this is not looking right to me. The fact that this looks like it's a cavity, um, just, you know, rings the bells. Uh, also, there's some very strange looking rock formations and stuff as well. One of those things as well, looking at, um, rocks and shadows um in one of in one of the videos i did um i show you where there's sorry about this i should just zoom out a bit where there's a rock um when there actually isn't a rock there it's it's just been um darkened out to look like a rock um, you know, and once you see this stuff and you see the enhancements, it's, um, it's very, very obvious. So remember the scaling is very unusual. I mean, the, the, this, you know, that's what I was talking about. Shadows and rocks, background, foreground. Um, you can see this goes in. It's like a but it has no thickness to what looks like, you know, it could be a wall, but there's cavities in here. Very unusual. So these are just initial observations. Um, here's a little dude. Almost looks like there's a, a doorway there. Let's have a look at him. It's had a little bit of contrast in it. Um, and as I said, it was um, labelled as a, a walking man. You know, I presume it looks like he's walking away, but it doesn't look like that to me. And here is the Egyptian Sumerian head and the crashed UFO. The reason I'm using titles in this video is uh, just to illustrate that um, it can be very misleading. Yes. So, back to this image just to show you this is sort of the crop area it's something like that so here we go this hasn't had any work done to it you can see the dude here spacecraft the 
this sculpture. And the UFO. Now just observing, just take this area, in fact, we'll just go back to here. Now there might be a little cut in the sound because my escape button is actually a pause button. Okay. So if we go into there, this, this area here, next to these, very unusual looking, look like big cut blocks. But this doesn't make any sense to me. Neither does this sand. It looks like the airbrushed faked sand. So like I say, pause and observe and also just have a look at all this stuff as well. Very unusual. All this sand. Don't believe this sand is real. Okay. So there's the dude. The sculpture. And the UFO. Is there anything else to show you? Well, I hope that has um, intrigued you enough. And like I say, there'll probably, there, there, there'll probably be another two on this. Because even though it's a small crop of a large um, map, there is so much to look at. Um, it's boggling and it does take a long time it's uh, it's a slow process um, but well worth having a look at so I hope uh, your curiosity has uh, got the better of you and you'll you'll stick with it and um, keep your eye out for the next video and as always I will see you soon thanks very much guys